Today, we're going to be taking a look at the new top five best class setups in Battle Warfare 3 after the Season 2 Reloaded update. All of these weapons have been touched in some sort of way. If any of these class setups do help you guys out, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and click that thumbs up button. With all that being said, here's the first class setup. Somehow, in some way, the SVA 545 always finds its way on this list. This time for a good reason. They actually decreased the ADS time and the sprint to fire. So it's a little bit quicker now, which is pretty big. A lot of my attachments bring that down. So my first attachment is a 60 run magazine. So I could take out multiple enemies without having to reload. You could do the 45. You could definitely get away with either or. I just prefer the 60 because I feel like it has a high fire rate and I just burn through ammo very quickly. Next, I threw on the Bruin Heavy Support Grip. It is the best underbarrel in the entire game for recoil control and accuracy. You really shouldn't be missing any shots after putting this on. And then also when you pair it with the Zemin 35 compensated flash hider muzzle, golden. Literally zero recoil, it doesn't move whatsoever. We get shortened radar pings, so you're on enemy radars, less time than normal, which is pretty big, so you can be more stealthy. And then on top of that, more and better recoil control, which is always very helpful and needed. For my barrel, I have the STV Precision Barrel. Uh, we get bullet velocity and range, which makes our SVA 545 just kill a lot more quickly at those longer ranges. On top of that, more accuracy, recoil control. You can never go wrong with that. And then the fifth and final attachment is up to you. I prefer an optic because I don't like the iron sights. I prefer the brand new Jack Glassless optic, or you could do the good old Mark III reflector. But since this is out and actually reduces your visual recoil, I prefer this one now. And we could take this to the firing range, and dude, it is just much quicker my setup really hasn't changed and i mean just it is one of the easiest weapons in the entire game to use barely any recoil especially with the brand new optic on it and it's quicker new best they are i, I don't know y'all let me know down below now i'm most excited for this one personally the lachman sub which actually received a huge buff it actually kills in one bullet quicker now so they increased all sorts of damage ranges on this and i'm so glad they did because this is just one of the best SMGs of all time in Call of Duty. So my first attachment is a 40 round magazine. I feel like 50s OD and I don't like the extra mobility it knocks down on me, but it's personal preference. I know some people prefer the 50. I know I have in the past. So go ahead and do it. I'm going to do my little 40 right here. Next, you're going to definitely want to throw on the high grain rounds where you get bullet velocity and damage range. So since I already buffed it on this, throwing this on is just going to add more fuel to the fire. It's just going to make it that much better. Next, I have on the Zemin Competent Flash Hunter muzzle. It's going to be on every setup. It's just the best muzzle in the entire game. You already know what it does. Shortens those radar pings, increases your accuracy and recoil control. For the barrel, I have on the L38 Falcon barrel. It's a movement barrel, which is really helpful. I, I like it a lot. I'm just able to finesse in up-close engagements where you're mainly using a weapon like this. And then my final attachment is the... FT mobile stock. I get aiming idle sway, which increases my accuracy. And then it gives me a little bit of aim down sight speed, which I'm okay with. I'm not going to complain about it. Bring this to the firing range. And dude, MP5 is so back. It feels incredible, especially with the MW3 attachments. I hope they continue to buff some of these MW2 weapons now that it is out. Again, get this in your hands very very good now now on a less positive note we have the bp50 which overall pretty much got a nerf but it's still absolutely incredible i don't want you to think that this thing sucks not because they nerfed it you already know my rule of thumb if it's nerfed it's not really nerfed so here's the updated build you're gonna want to use because it's still amazing uh, first 45 round magazine it's the biggest magazine you're gonna need it so you can take out a lot more enemies without having to reload for my underbarrel, I actually went with the X10 Phantom 5 hand stop. I get sprint to fire, so that brings my weapon up quicker after sprinting. I get ADS speed, so I can be quick and snappy with my shots. And then on top of that, vertical recoil control, gun kick control. You, you can't go wrong with it. That's great. Best of both worlds. For the muzzle, you already guessed it. We got the meta muzzle. I can just start calling it at this point. Next, I went ahead and threw on the Lore 9 Heavy Barrel. We get an increase in bullet velocity and range, and that's the main reason I even threw this on. It just makes it a little bit stronger, kill a little bit more quickly. And then my final attachment, uh, they actually ended up buffing the Moat 40 stock. So it increased our gun kick control just by a little bit more than previously. So this stock is better for your recoil control, and that's why we're going to use it. It's the only thing that they buffed, so I'll take it. 
And then we can head to the firing range. The thing still is an absolute laser you could see after the update. A lot of the nerfs they made was like to tax stance and stuff since that was like the more OP build. But if you use it normally, you're good to go. Um, one of the better weapons for recoil control for sure. I mean, it, look at that. Unreal. I love the BP-50. It's still usable after the update. Next, we have the WSP Swarm, which they didn't even nerf. They, they left it alone, and that's why it's being put on here, because it is just that good. I'm surprised it wasn't nerfed. So here's my updated build, because it has changed a little bit. I got the 100-round drum mag instead of the 50. It's so much fun. It's like the highest fire rate weapon in the entire game. You're going to be burning through ammo. 100, you could definitely go with here. For my underbarrel, I have the X10 Phantom 5 handstop once again. Again, throwing a 100-round drum is going to slow this thing down quite a bit. So that's where the Sprint to Fire and EDS speed comes in play. And then you get better vertical recoil control and gun kick control, which we're definitely going to need because of the high fire rate this had. So we got the meta muzzle on. Once again, I don't got to explain it. It's been on every single build. And then I threw on the WSP Reckless 90 Long Barrel. It gives me an increase in bullet velocity and range, again, allowing it to kill much more quickly at longer ranges. And then it gives me gun kick control, recoil control. So best of both worlds, better power, better accuracy. You just can't go wrong with something like that. And then my fifth and final attachment is the FSS Fortress Heavy Stock. So more recoil control again, better gun kick control. And I think out of any of the attachments I threw on, this does such a huge boost in the recoil control category. And then you could bring this in the firing range. And keep in mind, this is the fastest firing weapon in the entire game. Yeah. Super controllable and easy to use. Even at a range like this where you shouldn't be fighting at it. I mean, you could still get the job done if you really wanted to. But these two ranges right here is everything. Uh, WSP Swarm. Seriously can never go wrong with something like this. All right, now let's have some fun for the fifth and final class up. I got the Lockwood 680 for two reasons. They permanently replaced the normal shipment with Shipmas now. So that's the only shipment we get is Shipmas. And two, Das Haas is back. So I have to throw in a toxic close range weapon, that being the Lockwood 680. So my first attachment I wanted to throw on was the Matuzek X-Ray Skeletalized Guard. You get a hit marker, you miss a shot, it happens to all of us, right? You could shoot again so much more quickly with this because of the increase in rechambering speed. That's not even the best thing about this. You also get better sprint speed, you can be more aggressive getting the enemy's faces alongside with that movement speed. One of the best attachments for a shotgun is this one right here. Next, I threw on a bolt and I went ahead and threw on the express light bolt another increase in rechambering speed it makes the lockwood 680 actually look like it's automatic it's so dumb next for our stock i threw on the sawed off mod so i get sprint to fire the my shotgun gets up a little bit more quickly after sprinting more movement speed again just be aggressive get in the enemy's faces it just makes the thing stronger at that point because you're never going to get a hit marker at point blank which is nice and then we got the mobility out of the way you're going to want to throw on a barrel the bryson hammer forged long barrel you get eds speed i personally like to eds with my shotguns i feel like i get more one shot one kills with them i know a little weird and whatnot but you also get bullet velocity and range and compared to the lockwood defender heavy long barrel you get way more range out of the hammer forge long barrel which is exactly what i'm looking for so i can increase those one shot one kill potentials and then my final attachment is all the way at the end over here, and it is the X10 full choke, which gives me the best increase in damage range. So you can see it's a 6% here. The Bryson choke uh, doesn't really give you much. You get uh, 3 and 2, so 6 and 4, 6 and 6. So yeah, X10 full choke is the absolute best option here. And yeah, bring this in the firing range is going to do absolutely nothing for you because... I don't know. It's a little weird in the firing range. You can see my mobility, EDS. Yeah, this is just not a good representation of it. Shotguns are not meant to be in the firing range. Besides that, no matter what five of these class setups you use, my vest, field upgrade, gloves, boots, gear, it all stays the same no matter what. I never change it. So we have this CCT comms vest, which essentially drops the scavenger pack. It gives you like a quick little radar ping. It's like a free UAV best vest in the game don't care what anyone says i never take it off i got the ammunition box so i can actually use my own weapons i'd want to pick up random weapons off the ground scavenger gloves so i could pick up ammo as well 
I got the lightweight boots, which gives us an increase in movement. Just helps me get around the map a lot more quickly, get more kills. EOD padding, I'm not trying to die to lethals and all that nonsense. And then mag holster, which is just sleight of hand. You can reload your weapons a lot quicker, which is always needed. Other than that, those are the best top five class setups after the season two reloaded update. Let me know what I missed out on or what I should have included. And that's going to be it for today. I'll see you on the next one. You guys all stay safe. Have a great day and I'm out. Peace.